If your Computer Smarts console is not turned on at this time, stop the tape and turn on your console. Follow its instructions and then turn the tape back on. A message will appear shortly on your Computer Smarts LCD screen, along with a tone. If you do not hear the tone or see the message, check the operating instructions for proper setup procedures. At the end of this tape, after the titles, there is important scoring information. Hey, come on, everybody. The journey has just begun. Computer Smarts. Welcome to Computer Smarts. Information for everyone. Computer Smarts. Are you ready for a challenge? You know that learning can be fun. Computer Smarts. Computer Smarts. When you play the games, you'll always win and open up a brand new world. A brand new world. Wow, this is great, Brains. What are we watching? This is a classic, Beak. Hideous creatures from outer space, starring Hojo Toho and Matushta Mitsushima. Wow, hey, who's that guy that looks like Uncle Patrasidi? Oh, that's one of the hideous creatures. Uh, no, wait, it is Uncle Patrasidi. Stand by to receive incoming message on interspatial extra-dimensional subwarp channel D. You mean the phone from home? Either that or dialing for intergalactic credits. It's today's typing words. They should be coming up on the screen right about now. Okay, I got it. Today's three typing words are new, fun, and top. Right. So whenever you see or hear those words, Type them in on your Computer Smarts keyboard as fast as you can. Because the faster you answer, the more points you score. Remember, wait for this answer tone to finish before you start typing your answer. And don't forget to press the Enter key after you finish typing the word. No problem. I'm on top of it. Top! Type top. Be cool, buddy. Sometimes you can be a real... Who is that? I saw your ad in the paper, and I'm your man, Morris Williams. What ad? This ad. A big producer wants stars. It's a sentence. What? A sentence. A sentence is one or more words that express a complete thought. A sentence has a subject and a predicate. It begins with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. A period, a question mark, or an exclamation point. The ad you read in the paper is a sentence. A big producer wants stars. Oh, that ad. What are you talking about? That depends on the subject. What subject? The subject of your sentence. The subject is the person or thing the sentence is talking about. And the subject is usually a noun. Huh? A noun. A word that's the name of something. A person, place, thing, or idea. Look, I just came here because of this ad. A big producer wants stars. Then the subject of your sentence is a big producer. Right. And the noun in the subject is producer. It's the person the sentence is talking about. Yeah? What's it say about him? I love gossip. What depends on the predicate? The predicate is the part of the sentence that makes a statement about the subject. Your sentence was, a big producer wants stars. The predicate is wants stars. Hey, what's going on here? Look at the verb and find out. The verb is the most important part of the predicate. It describes the action in the sentence. So if anything is going on, the verb should tell you what. The verb in your sentence is wants. A big producer wants stars. Now look at this sentence. A big producer wants stars. Type the letter next to the subject. The answer is A. The subject of the sentence is a big producer. It's the person, place, thing, or idea the sentence is talking about. Right. Now type the letter next to the noun in the subject. The 
answer is E. Producer is the noun in the subject. A noun is the name of a person, place, thing, or idea. Good. Type the letter next to the predicate of this sentence. The predicate is wants stars, so the answer is G. The predicate is the part of the sentence that makes a statement about the subject. And what is the verb in the predicate? A big producer wants stars. Type the word that is the verb. W-A-N-T-S. Once. The verb is once. It describes the action in the sentence. A big producer wants stars. That's why I'm here. Where is this big producer? Mm, uh, right here. Huh? Well, I figured if I can't go to Hollywood, I'll bring Hollywood to me. So I wrote an ad and put it in the paper. Well, if you're a producer, I'm your man, Morris Williams. Wow! Are you a star? I'm better than a star. I'm a talent agent. Yeah. And you kids look like star material. Just sign this standard contract, and I'll get you a part in Revenge of the Children of the Hideous Creatures from Outer Space. Who is it? Preston Digitator. I saw your ad, and boy, are you in luck. I'm taking my act on the road, door to door, right into your home, so you can see for yourself, up close and personal. Oh, uh, can't we just take your word for it? You love it. This is a great act, really. Come on, it'll be fun. Fun? Type fun. Are you a magician? Hmm, I think I've got an opening for a magician in Return of the Second Cousins of the Hideous Creatures from Outer Space. If you'll just sign this exclusive cut. Hey, look at this! Watch me pull my charming assistant, the talented Tanya, out of my hat. You're gonna pull a girl out of that little hat? That's right. Maestro, a drum roll, please. If not that, an egg roll. <laughs> Ta-da! What do you think? Think of what? Tanya! Where? Right here! Tanya is here! She is here! That's a pronoun. The word she is a pronoun. I thought she was an assistant. I mean the word she in the sentence. She is here. Oh, of course! We knew that! What's a pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun. She is a personal pronoun that takes the place of the proper noun, Tanya. She may not look like much, but I'll bet she has a great personality. A pronoun? A pronoun! Takes the place of a noun. It can take a whole lot of subject and squeeze it down to one little word like he, she, or it. It's a brilliant device, I've got to admit. If we didn't have pronouns, conversation would take too long. They're a tool that you can use if you learn them, you can't go wrong. A pronoun, a pronoun, takes the place of a noun. It can take a whole lot of subject and squeeze it down. A pronoun, a pronoun, takes the place of a noun. It can take a whole lot of subject and squeeze it down. Tanya, baby, beautiful performance. Do you have an agent? And that's just the beginning. Watch this. Now I'm going to transcend time and space and pull a seven-foot-tall club-wielding Neanderthal man out of my hat. Ta-da! The seven-foot-tall club-wielding Neanderthal man is here. He is here. And there's another pronoun. In the sentence, he is here, the pronoun he replaces the noun man, and any words that describe or modify the noun. So, you can replace a seven-foot-tall, club-wielding Neanderthal man with the pronoun he. And instead of saying, here is a seven-foot-tall, club-wielding Neanderthal man, you can simply say, he is here. It's just as well, seeing as how he's not exactly seven feet tall. And he doesn't have a club either. But can he act? I believe there was a club there. I've got the perfect part for him in Son of the Bride of the Hideous Creatures. 
<laughs> You're a terrific audience. Here's one I just know you'll love. A full-size turbocharged fuel-injected helicopter. Isn't it great? What is it? It is another pronoun. The words I, you, he, she, and it are all personal pronouns. Yeah, they're singular personal pronouns. That means they refer to only one person, place, a thing. A pronoun always refers back to a noun that has already been mentioned. The pronoun it refers back to the noun helicopter and any words that describe the noun. Look at this sentence. The car is large. Type the letter next to the subject of the sentence. The answer is H. The car is the subject of the sentence. Now type the noun in the subject of the sentence. C-A-R! Car! The noun in the subject of the sentence is car! Good! The subject is the car. And the noun in the subject is car. A pronoun can replace a noun and any other words that describe or modify that noun. In fact, a pronoun can replace the complete subject of a sentence. Type the letter next to the pronoun that can replace the subject of this sentence. The answer is L. The pronoun that takes the place of the subject is it. The car is large. It is large. There's only one car, so we use the singular personal pronoun it. Look at this sentence. The boy likes the car. Type the letter next to the pronoun that should take the place of the subject. The answer is M. He is the singular personal pronoun that takes the place of the subject, the boy. The boy likes the car. He likes the car. Good. The pronoun he replaces the noun boy and the word the. So the subject, the boy, becomes simply he, and the sentence becomes he likes the car. Pronouns can also replace any noun in a sentence, not just the noun in the subject. What does the boy like? Type the noun that is replaced by the pronoun it. Car, C-A-R. The pronoun it replaces the noun car. The boy likes the car. The boy likes it. Now you've got it. The pronoun it replaces the noun car. The boy likes it. Now look at this sentence. He likes it. Type the noun that is being replaced by the pronoun he. Boy! B-O-Y! The pronoun he refers back to the noun boy. The boy likes the car. The boy likes it, he likes it. I wish I had a large car, but someday I will. I'll be the greatest magician in the world. I'll be famous. You haven't seen anything yet. Who are you talking to? All of you. Well, then in the sentence, you haven't seen anything yet, the pronoun you is plural. Plural means more than one. The plural of you is you? That's right. Pronouns have plural forms, just like nouns. But instead of simply adding an S on the end of the word, pronouns have special plural forms. The plural of you is you. The plural of I is we. And the plural of he, she, and it is they. A plural pronoun can take the place of a plural noun or a group of two or more singular nouns. We make the noun boy plural by adding an S. Oh, and then we could replace the plural noun boys with the plural pronoun they and say, they like the car. And instead of saying Beak and I are bored, I could say we are bored. My magic's not good enough, huh? Well, watch this. Not one, not two, but three, count them, three gigantic killer penguins. Ta-da! 
Here they are! What do you think about that? We think you better get a new hat! New! Type new. Fantastic! Do you guys work as a team or what? Hey, if you'll just put your flipper on the dotted line. Here's a sentence with a singular pronoun. I see Preston. Change the singular pronoun I to its plural form by typing the letter next to the plural form of the pronoun. The answer is Q. The pronoun we is the plural form of the singular personal pronoun I. I see Preston, we see Preston. I can't wait until he makes himself disappear. Look at this singular personal pronoun and type the letter next to its plural form. The answer is P. The plural of you is you. Y-O-U. That's right. The pronoun you is exactly the same in both the singular and plural forms. You are here. Both of you are here. All of you are here. Now, look at this sentence. Beak and Reigns can do magic tricks. Type the plural pronoun that takes the place of the two nouns in the subject. That's easy! The answer is they! T-H-E-Y! Beacon Reigns can do magic tricks. They can do magic tricks. I thought the answer was we! If you're referring to yourself and somebody else together in the plural form, then you would use the plural pronoun we. Oh, I see. But if you don't include yourself and you're talking about more than one person, place, or thing, then you use the plural pronoun they. So Preston would say they can do magic tricks because he is not including himself. Uh oh Time for a speed drill! Yes, it's time for a speed drill. And this is a special drill. Look at the LCD display screen on your computer smarts console and type the words you see there as fast as you can. Don't forget to press the enter key after each answer. And remember, the faster you answer, the higher your score. Ready, set, go. Preston, baby, you were absolutely terrific, and I mean that sincerely. Just get all your friends here to sign with me, and I'll make you a star. Can you get me on the channel's Chucklehead show? You're too good for that. What you need is a completely new show. New? No. Type new. Anyway, as I was saying, we'll make our own show. We'll make it my show, and then the show will belong to me. <laughs> but first we need an announcer. My show needs a great announcer. That's a singular possessive pronoun. Say what? The word my is a possessive pronoun. A singular possessive pronoun. The show belongs to one person, place, or thing. The show belongs to Morris. It's Morris's show. Possessive pronouns indicate possession. Possession means something belongs to someone. Possessive pronouns are used to describe or modify nouns. The possessive pronoun my modifies the noun show. Morris said my show. 
That means the show belongs to Morris. It's Morris's show. Was it your idea to bring him along, Beak? The word your is another possessive pronoun. Another singular possessive pronoun. The words my, your, his, her, and its are all singular possessive pronouns. My is the possessive form of the pronoun I. Your is the possessive form of the pronoun you. His is the possessive form of the pronoun he. Her is the possessive form of the pronoun she. And its is the possessive form of the pronoun it. Hey, I get it. My head, your nose, his show. Hey, everybody, did you know the hottest news around? A possessive pronoun is one that shows the ownership of a noun. This is my show, it belongs to me, it's my possession, don't you see? There's no end to his fantasy! I bet he thinks it's his galaxy! Possessive pronouns, they're so hip, they're always showing ownership. Well, it's my thing, and it's your trip, but together we form our partnership. What is hip? Possessive pronouns! Ownership! Possessive pronouns! What is hip? Possessive pronouns! Ownership! Possessive pronouns! What is hip? Look at this singular personal pronoun and type the letter next to its possessive form. The answer is B. Your is the possessive form of the pronoun you. The hat belongs to you. It is your hat. Now type the letter next to the possessive form of this singular personal pronoun. The possessive form of the singular personal pronoun he is his. So the answer is C, his, H-I-S. Look at this singular pronoun and type its possessive form. H-E-R, her. The possessive form of the singular personal pronoun she is her. H-E-R, her. Good. Now complete this sentence. This is show. Type the possessive form of the singular personal pronoun I. I know. The answer is my. M-Y. My. This is my show. Hey, how come he gets to put on his show in our clubhouse? The word our is a plural possessive pronoun. Huh? What? The word our is the plural possessive form of the possessive pronoun my. My clubhouse. Our clubhouse. The plural possessive pronoun our modifies the noun clubhouse. Plural means more than one. I get it. It's our clubhouse because it belongs to Beak and me. Yes, the plural of my is our. The plural of your is your. And the plural of his, her, and its is their. Where? No, not T-H-E-R-E. -E. The plural possessive pronoun there is spelled T-H-E-I-R. Look at this singular possessive pronoun and then type in the letter next to its plural possessive form. The answer is Z. The plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronoun my is our. Oh, you are our. That's right. Now type the plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronoun his. T-H-E-I-R, there. The plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronoun his is there. T-H-E-I-R. And what's the plural form of this possessive pronoun? 
type the plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronoun on the screen. T-H-E-I-R! There! The plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronoun her is there! T-H-E-I-R! But I thought it was the plural form of the possessive pronoun his. <laughs> You're both right. There is the plural possessive form of the singular possessive pronouns his, her, and its. Now, type the letter next to the singular form of this plural possessive pronoun. Let's see. It's not his or her, so it must be your. I typed A for your. Y-O-U-R. Your. Hey, how come the singular your and the plural your are exactly the same? Because they are both possessive forms of the pronoun you, which is also exactly the same in both the singular and plural forms. Mm -hmm. uh oh time for a speed drill! Yes, it's time for another special speed drill. Look at the LCD display screen on your computer smarts console and type the words you see there as fast as you can. As fast as you can. Don't forget to press the enter key after each answer. And remember, the faster you answer, the higher your score. Ready, set, go! Okay, now we're on a roll. We've got your guest, your announcer, what else do we need? Oh yeah, a hostess. And now, the show for people with nothing better to do, the Oopa Windbag Show. <laughs> Have we got a show for you today? Of course we do. Why would I be standing here if we didn't? <laughs> and do I have great guests for you? The word great is an adjective. An adjective is a word that describes or modifies a noun or pronoun. What kind of guests are they? Great guests? You bet they are. Some of them are almost famous. <laughs> Coming up later today, we have, um, uh... Preston Digitator. Ah, yes. A Preston Digitator. A truly fascinating, um... Magician. Yes. Hold a minute. Something's missing. Let's see. We've got your host, your announcer, your guest. Hmm, what's left? I know. Commercials. Right. We'll be right back with our first guest right after this highly profitable commercial intrusion. Opa, sweetheart, that was just super. I think I can get you a major walk-on in Grandmother of the Hideous Creatures, the prequel. Now, if you'll just notarize this modest contract. Tired of the same old humdrum breakfast cereal? Try Battling Bits, the cereal that bites back. It's a great cereal. It's a strong cereal. <laughs> it's a tough cereal. It's a dangerous cereal. It's a knockout! That commercial used a lot of adjectives. Not to mention a mean left hook. Great, strong, tough, dangerous. They are all adjectives that modify or describe the noun cereal. They are called positive adjectives because they describe a noun without comparing it to anything else. What could they compare it to? A mugging? Adjectives. They describe a noun. <laughs> adjectives. Adjective. The most colorful words around. I'm talking about... Adjective! Adjective! They're so useful, I'm sure you'll agree. Just think how dull this world would be without adjectives. Uh, oh my! Sheesh! No adjectives? We need our red balloons and foggy days. We can paint the world just any old way. A final frontier, a distant star. Adjectives are great no matter who you are. <laughs> adjectives! They describe a noun. The most colorful words around because they're fabulous, wonderful, excitable, colorful, magical, whimsical, adorable, glorious, adjectives! Find the adjective in this sentence. 
The small boy likes the car. Type the positive adjective that describes or modifies the noun boy. Small, S-M-A-L-L, -L. small. The positive adjective small describes the noun boy. Now, type the positive adjective in this sentence. The adjective is large, L-A-R-G-E. Good. Now type the noun that the adjective large modifies. Car, C-A-R. Car is the noun modified by the adjective large. It's a large car. That's right. The adjective large describes or modifies the noun car. Adjectives often appear next to the noun they describe, but sometimes they are separated by a verb. Type the adjective in this sentence that describes the noun woman. T-H-I-N, thin. The adjective is thin. It describes the noun woman. Good. Now type the adjective in this sentence. The adjective is fat, F-A-T. Right. An adjective that appears as part of the predicate is called a predicate adjective. It describes or modifies the subject of the sentence. Look at this sentence. The man is fat. Type the noun in the subject that is modified by the predicate adjective fat. Man, M-A-N. It is the noun in the subject of the sentence, and it is modified by the adjective fat. Later on, we'll be interviewing Fred Furball. Fred's a tall guy, and he sells tall towers to all the famous Hollywood stars. Well, just how tall are they? Are they taller than a TD? Taller is a comparative adjective. A comparative adjective compares two persons, places, things, or ideas by adding ER on the end of the adjective. So, the adjective tall becomes taller. Fred's towers are being compared to a teepee. Are Fred's towers taller than a teepee? What's a teepee? <laughs> well, of course they are. Oops, uh, time to take a short break for some crass commercial exploitation. We'll be right back. Slurp Cola. It's better than Burp Cola. Why? Why? Because it comes in a bigger bottle. The label is brighter. It's fizzier. It's, it's browner. Those were some examples of comparative adjectives using the ER ending. The adjective bright becomes brighter. It is a bright label and is brighter than the other label. The adjective bright describes the noun label and the adjective brighter compares the label to another label. Look at this sentence. The car is larger than the house. Type the comparative adjective. The comparative adjective is larger. L-A-R-G-E-R. -E right. Larger is the comparative adjective. Look at the sentence again. The car is larger than the house. Type the noun modified by the comparative adjective larger. The noun is car. Larger modifies the noun car, C-A-R. Good. And since it is a comparative adjective, it is comparing the car to something else. Type the noun that is being compared to the car. The 
answer is house. The car is being compared to the house. H-O-U-S-E. The car is larger than the house. Is there much demand for these larger cars? <laughs> Who knows? Now let's meet our next guest, the beautiful, charming Stella Starlet. She has the brightest teeth and the highest voice in show business. Brightest and highest are superlative adjectives. A superlative adjective compares more than two persons, places, or things by adding EST to the end of the adjective. High becomes highest, and bright becomes brightest. Absolutely fascinating. And now, here's Stella. Ah, uh, Stella couldn't make it today. She had to go to the... to the... premiere, yeah, of her new movie. I was the daughter of a three-headed hideous creature from outer space. Ha. But you can ask me anything you'd ask her. I'm her agent. Yeah, I'm more than just her agent. I'm also her dearest and closest friend. Hold that thought and we'll get right back to it right after this cataclysmic commercial concoction. <sighs> Hi. I'm Lazy Larry, and I've got the greatest lawn loungers in town. Need a lawn lounger for a midget? I've got the smallest. Need a lawn lounger for an elephant? I've got the strongest. But you better hurry, I've got the shortest hours in the business. Most of those adjectives were superlative adjectives. Words like shortest, strongest, and smallest are all superlative adjectives. Look at this sentence. She was the tallest girl in her class. Type the superlative adjective. Superlative adjective, T-A-L-L-E-S-T. You can tell it's a superlative adjective because it ends with the letters E-S-T. And what noun does it modify? She was the tallest girl in her class. Type the noun modified by the superlative adjective tallest. The superlative adjective tallest modifies the noun girl, G-I-R-L. She was the tallest girl. Very good. Now look at this sentence. He does the greatest tricks. Type the letter next to the superlative adjective. The answer C. Greatest is a superlative adjective. Superlative adjectives end with the letters E-S-T. G-R-E-A-T-E-S-T. -E -E he does the greatest tricks. Now look at this sentence. It is the smallest chair. Type the superlative adjective. M-A-L-L-E-S-T, smallest. The superlative adjective smallest modifies the noun cheer. Right, but positive adjective small describes or modifies a noun. This is a small chair. The comparative adjective smaller compares a noun to something else. This chair is smaller than that chair. The superlative adjective smallest compares more than two things. There are three chairs, and this one is the smallest. Small, smaller, smallest. Here is a tree. Type the letter next to the positive adjective that describes the tree. The answer is A. Tall is the positive adjective that describes the tree. It's a tall tree. Okay, here are two trees, a green tree and a purple tree. Type the word that is the comparative adjective that compares the purple tree to the green tree.
The answer is taller. T-A-L-L-E-R. The comparative adjective taller compares the purple tree to the green tree. The purple tree is taller than the green tree. And now, here are three trees. A green tree, a purple tree, and an orange tree. Type the letter next to the superlative adjective that compares the orange tree to the green and purple trees. The answer is C, tallest. The superlative adjective tallest compares the orange tree to both the green tree and the purple tree. Of the three trees, the orange tree is the tallest. And now, back to the Oopa Windbag Show. The show you don't have to think about because absolutely nothing happens. Let's all give a big hand to my next guest, the preposterous Preston Digitator. But first, this excruciatingly painful commercial assault. Hold it. The government has decided that there are too many commercials on this show. I'm Colonel Bragg, and I'm taking over. Bring on Preston. He does great tricks. The word he is a pronoun. It takes the place of the proper noun Preston. Look at this sentence. Bragg likes magic tricks. Type the pronoun that takes the place of the noun in the subject of this sentence. The answer is he. He likes magic tricks. H-E. He. The singular pronoun he takes the place of the proper noun brag. Brag likes magic tricks. He likes magic tricks. I, you, he, she, and it are all singular pronouns. Everybody here likes magic tricks. In fact, we love magic tricks. Look at this sentence. We love magic tricks. Type the plural pronoun. W-E, we. The plural pronoun is we. We is the plural form of the pronoun I. I love magic tricks. We love magic tricks. We, you, and they are all plural pronouns. Especially Preston's magic tricks. His tricks are great. I discovered him, you know. I've got him on an exclusive contract if, if he signed it. Look at this sentence. His tricks are great. Type the possessive pronoun. H-I-S, his. The possessive pronoun is his. The tricks belong to Preston. His tricks are great. My, your, his, her, and its are all singular possessive pronouns. Type the noun modified by the possessive pronoun his. T-R-I-C-K-S, tricks. The possessive pronoun his modifies the noun tricks. The tricks belong to him. His tricks are great. They are? Yes, they are. We're lucky to have him on our show. Our show? The word our is a plural possessive pronoun. Look at this singular possessive pronoun, her. Then type its plural possessive form. The plural possessive form is there, T-H-E-I-R. The plural of my is our, the plural of your is your, and the plural of his, her, and its is there. Look at this sentence. Preston is a great magician. Type the adjective that describes or modifies a noun. Great! G-R-E-A-T! The adjective great describes the noun magician. Preston is a great magician! <laughs>
Where is Preston anyway? He's talking to one of my guests, Rocky Bulbas, star of Rambot. Hey, Rocky, watch me pull a rabbit out of my hat. Neat, huh? Now watch me make it disappear. That trick never works. What? Why, Preston is a greater magician than the stupendous, scintillating Bob. Look at this sentence. Preston is greater than Bob. Type the letter next to the comparative adjective. The answer is I. Greater is the comparative adjective. G-R-E-A-T-E-R. -E -E you just add the letters E-R to the positive adjective great to make the comparative adjective greater. Yes, yes. I can't think of a greater magician. In fact, I think Preston is the greatest magician of all time. Now, type the superlative adjective in this sentence. The superlative adjective is greatest. G-R-E-A-T-E-S-T. -E -E Preston is the greatest magician, and he's appearing exclusively on my show. You mean our show, don't you, honey? But I agree. He's possibly the greatest magician of all time. And you're a terrific talk show host, Bragg. Now, if you'll just sign this simple, easy-to-read contract, if... So, where did that boy get to? Time's a-wasting. The show must go on and all that. Oh, well. So, what's coming up on our next show, Opa? What? Ah, where am I? <laughs> ha! Now it's my show! <laughs> what do you mean? This is my show. It's in my contract. Hey, wait a minute. It's our clubhouse yeah and we can do magic tricks ready beak Klatu, barada, nick two. now what do we do just read the cue card oh oh um don't miss our next exciting episode wait that's my job don't miss our next exciting episode high stakes grammar or i'll see your sentence and raise you a pair of graphs <laughs> no wait that's my job will reigns ever get to hollywood will beak ever eat a pizza will morris have his own show will upa have her cake and eat it too and will preston ever pull a rabbit out of his hat that old trick never works tune in next time for never look an anchovy in the eye or serving chili on a stick Well, all right, everybody, I'm sure you've just had some fun. Computer smarts. Playing with computer smarts. Information for everyone. Computer smarts. Now we're home from a journey, but you can always play again. Computer smarts. Computer Cause smarts. when you play the games, you'll always win and open up a brand new world.